and hospital operating rooms, the preferred policy is controlling hazards rather than removing women. Studies have shown increased miscarriages among women working in the operating room and in the wives of men who work there. Cancer rates are also higher and increased birth defects are seen in workers' children. The likely culprit is anesthetic gas. A scavenging unit that can reduce the levels of these gases is described by an anesthesia professor from Stanford Medical School, Dr. Charles Witcher. To uh, control exposure to anesthetics is comparatively simple when the problems are understood. In the pre-concerned days, before we worried about anesthetic exposure, the um, waste gases from the anesthetic breathing circuit that we have here uh, was simply vented into the room air and might even be pointed directly at the anesthetist. Uh, now we um, pipe the excess gases out of the room. And this line that you can see here carries the waste to a uh, disposal site at the wall. And from here, it's carried to the exhaust duct of the air conditioning system and carried outside where it's diluted by the room air that's present. The problem is the federal government recommends these controls, but it doesn't require them. So many hospitals haven't installed the units and most hospitals don't even monitor the air to check for gas leaks. Some hospitals still don't inform workers of the hazards. At present, the, the, the amount of education that's being carried out on, on, on uh, hazards of anesthetic exposure are quite minimal. Um, it is clear, as one considers the problem, that if a hazard exists, then the employees must be informed of it. And uh, the response we get is that people appreciate being informed and that when they know that everything that is possible is being done to minimize the hazard, the, um, uh, the workers are not alarmed and uh, they uh, do not ask for a change of job, even though they always have this option. Pregnant women who wish to um, change their workplace during the pregnancy, of course, have that privilege. But safer jobs often pay less. Thus, in many companies, transferred workers have to negotiate to retain the same rate of pay and benefits. 